1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. John 16, 24, until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive, that your joy may be full. Philippians 4, 6 to 7, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 33, 3, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. Matthew 21, 22. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. Psalm 107, 6. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distress. 1 John 5, 14 to 15. Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Mark 11, 22 to 24. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whosoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he, uh, he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Father, we thank you that even in this season that we are praying and seeking your face, we have the confidence and we believe that you are hearing us. We believe that your ears are attentive unto us right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for you have said that if we ask you anything, if we believe in our hearts, if we have faith that you are able, that you will deliver unto us, God. So I thank you that even in this season, God, that you will see us through as your children, God, that you will see every nation through even this through this crisis in the name of Jesus. I thank you for we are not fearful, God. I thank you for our minds are not troubled, God. I thank you for our minds are not confused. I thank you for we are not on our own, God. I thank you for we are we are not as those without hope. I thank you that we have the confidence that you are hearing us in this season, God, that you have heard us before and you continue to hear us in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we stand upon the truth of your word that even right now, God, as our world is in crisis, God, even concerning this coronavirus, God, I thank you that you are hearing every nation. You are hearing every child. You are hearing every servant. To her, even in this in this season in the name of Jesus we thank you for we believe your word we thank you for we believe your word God and this we are confident we are confident God that you will deliver you will deliver every nation you will deliver every city. You will deliver every family. You will deliver every individual. For you are able to heal and deliver. So Father, I thank you for you hear us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.